Hey humans, it's CJ and I'm feeling a little bit under the weather so I'm going to make my lemon chicken gnocchi soup. It is so healing and so good and I'm also going to share some things that I do when I am feeling under the weather to help me feel a little bit better. So the first thing that I do is I start out with a warm lemon water. I heated that water in the microwave for 30 seconds and then I'm just using this lemon squeezer to squeeze all the lemon juice out. I adore this contraption, but it's kind of hard to do with one hand <laughs> and record at the same time. I promise it's not usually so difficult. But yeah, I drink it with a straw so it doesn't mess up my teeth. The next step is I use my neti pot. I use my neti pot on a daily basis because I have allergies. So that right there is just a saline packet and that keeps the pH level of the water well. Um, you do not want to use sink water, tap water. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I'm sick, bear with me. But yeah, I am applying baby shampoo. That's something I don't do on a daily basis that actually helps with viruses and bacteria. Then I'm attempting to pour some water in and spilling it everywhere, that's okay. But I'm just mixing it up and I am going to Pour it through my nose, which I am going to save you the pleasure of seeing. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. All right, the next step is to take my supplements. Um, so I have a vitamin D supplement and a vitamin C. So that one is called Beyond D3. And as you can see, um, it's got boron in it, which is really good, magnesium, vitamin D, and I believe K2, I can't see it, <laughs> but yeah, um, it's just really good for immunity and it's good to have all of those in one tablet. So I like that one. And this is just a vitamin C spray. Uh, I prefer to take camu powder because it doesn't have like all of the additives and stuff, but in a pinch, uh, this works. It's got vitamin C in it. So on a daily basis, I take this, but when I'm sick, I take a lot of it because your body needs vitamin C. Uh, as you can see, there's like an organic food blend in this and there are some other ingredients in there which I'm not a huge fan of, but like I said, in a pinch, this works and it tastes good. So the next step is to make tea with honey. Um, that honey is locally sustained, <laughs> I guess you would say. Uh, and the tea that I was making was a turmeric tea that's really good for inflammation and the honey is good for your throat as well. All right, now my bags have arrived from Prime Delivery and oh my gosh, it saves me so much. That's my cat Tabigail trying to get in the bags. But yeah, I mean, when you're sick, who wants to go to the store, right? So if you have Amazon Prime, you can get Prime Delivery. If you have a Whole Foods near you, all you have to do is spend $35. So that is all of the stuff that I use to make this soup. As you can see, I have some chicken broth that's frozen. I have some gnocchi, um, veggies, chicken, spices. Um, I go more into detail in my blog. I'll put the link below, but yeah, I'm defrosting the chicken broth right there. There is the vegetables and through the power of the internet, voila, we have chopped veggies. Uh, this isn't very attractive, but <laughs> it's necessary. I'm just defrosting the chicken broth because it's frozen. Um, ideally, we would not be in this state and I wouldn't have to do this, but it is what it is. Um, you can use any kind of broth or some kind of broth that isn't frozen too. That works just as well. So I am popping this in the microwave and defrosting it because I don't have time to wait around for it to defrost in the refrigerator. Um, again, one of those things that's really hard with one hand. <laughs> it's pretty heavy, but yeah. Sick brain, how do I defrost? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> hey, there's me. Okay, so next step is we are hitting saute on the Instant Pot saute function and I'm spraying in some olive oil spray. And 
next step is to add the vegetables. I think I tried to do that and it was just too heavy. So, voila, they are in there and they are cooking down. You just cook those for a few minutes. Um, like I said, I'll have more details in my blog about like the exact ingredients and stuff like that. How long to do things. But yeah, just cooking it down till it's soft. I added some garlic there. Garlic is also really good for your immunity as well as the veggies and the broth and chicken and all that good stuff. So yeah, I'm just stirring that up, getting it soft so I can do the next step. For some reason, I'm spending a lot of time on this. All right. Okay, so now we are ready to add the chickens. So these are just chicken breasts. You could use chicken thighs. You can use whatever works, whatever you like. Um, but the saute function was turned off. And my next step is to add in the chicken broth, which I think I attempted to do with one hand, couldn't do it. So I added the broth and it's good to go. <laughs> I was attempting to put the top on with one hand yeah, it worked really well for me. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so I turned it off and then I was able to do it. So next step is manual. You're gonna do that for 15 minutes and then make sure that it's sealed. I always double check that and then I put something over the top of it, just, I don't know, just for my own brain to feel safe <laughs> and to protect the cabinets. Meanwhile, I'm boiling water. So I'm adding this gnocchi and I love this brand. It's so good because it's gluten-free, but it doesn't have a bunch of additives. So as you can see, there's potato, almond flour, eggs, tapioca flour, and sea salt. That's it. Um, it's pretty expensive, but I don't know, to me, it's worth it to have clean ingredients. So I boiled it, it's uh, draining. And next I'm going to chop some cilantro through the power of the internet again. Boom, it's been chopped and that little contraption I can't live without either. I love it for chopping up fresh herbs. And next we have our lemons. Again, I'm going to, boom, use magic and that's the lemon juice and also the uh, lemon rind. I can't think of the name, but yeah. So our soup is done now. So we are releasing, we're not letting it uh, oh, my brain is not working. Whatever, I just released it. <laughs> and we're adding the yoki to the soup, mixing it all up. And I had chopped the chicken and added in the lemon. And that is the end result. And it is amazing because it has that fresh lemon taste to it. The gnocchis are light and fluffy. The broth is amazing. The veggies are amazing. Just everything about it is so good. And it makes me feel so much better when I'm sick. So I hope that you enjoyed watching that. If you do, give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.